all right good people so i am um headed into a couple of stores one of them being dollar tree which is the point of this video i'm gonna do as much as i can to film while i'm in there while i'm picking up all of the items that i'm going to use for this look so y'all stay tuned this is cute this little dual eyeshadows the little gel blush Ooh, i'm interested very interested because i love me a cream blush nowadays looks like this will look really pretty on me purple no i'm gonna go with that one and i do love me some lip gloss so and spray that's pretty cool they just got LA colors all throughout here in the pan isn't that cute we got these other colors shimmer bronzers but I really like this I just wish they had my shade which I don't think they do y'all I did not see that they definitely had all of this like full size stuff over here like they got it's like Ardell Ardell y'all the Ardell I'm definitely getting this like <laughs> y'all that's Lil Kim it's called Kim what is this one waterproof extreme black plus size wing so this is okay this is black does it dry matte though? I don't know. I got this stuff! Anywho, so let me show y'all. Um, I saw, so this is what I saw. Um, it's one of the little bags. I thought this might be cute to so just put all the stuff in. Um, but yeah, so I got the Ardell. Um, this is camera. Collage. I see what they did there. Um, I also saw a bunch of the, I think you pronounced that Yoni. So I saw some of their products. So I'll go over that. Um, this was, so this was one of the first like cream products, foundations that I saw at first. The shade that I was going to get is my foundation shade. I decided not to go with because I got this, but I did get this darker shade. Thought this might be good to use as like my contour shade something else from the yoni um oh so this is something i never really see in dollar tree um this la mercerie whatever however y'all pronounce y'all don't be judging me <laughs> but i never see finishing setting spray at dollar tree so I wanted to give it a try and it was a matte so I was like hmm is it giving I got it in very black I got this LA colors cream gel blush this is from the little case that I saw when I initially walked in case I got one of the dual eyeshadows thought this was pretty good to get to create like a nice little natural type of vibe I also picked up a brow pencil. So yeah, this is where I'm getting into a lot of the, put all this stuff to the side. A lot of the like little Yoni products. So I'll show y'all the rest of that stuff in a minute. But yeah, this was some of the Yoni products that I saw and wanted to try. So I got, <clears throat> this is their liquid lipstick in the shade Berry. Um, and it is a matte finish so this is a nice deep color so I was like let's try it out um, then I got their face highlight and bronzer um, this is in gold glam I see that they gave some of these like names I thought this was really cute y'all because this is Lil' Kim definitely Lil' Kim it has to be Lil' Kim like who else would that be I'm just saying. <laughs> but anywho, um, this is Chloe. Um, and then this is the blush that I got. This was like a little powder blush. So 
after I, oh, I didn't even realize that I did do myself justice by getting pretty much the same type of color, you know, because I do want to set the blush like a powder. And so I got this one. Um, this one is their pigmented color, soft texture. That's not the name. <laughs> this is just their blush. And I got it in Glam Peach. At a, this is another Ardell product that I saw. Um, and this is their Photo Face Concealer. I saw they had some of their lashes, their 3D Faux Mink Lashes. And I got the Natural Light Doll um, Style. I have, so I have tried um, some of their oily lashes before so um they they're pretty cool um i didn't get any of the lash glue just because um i don't know too much about that lash glue and i didn't really really <laughs> trust it for a dollar to that's too close to my eyes so i'm gonna use what i got and we're gonna make it do what it do all right folks so i'm here set up in my little vanity area situation um and i got all the things here on my desk so i got all of the products compiled in this cute little um like what do you call this makeup bag that's what we're gonna call it today and isn't that cute print print ain't easy primping ain't easy i low-key had to google what primping was i was like do i say that have i said that um anywho i know i've heard of it but just blank for a minute and then i also have my brushes set out that i am going to be using so this is where i will say that i might might <laughs> cheat on this a little bit and i hate to use the word cheat but that's the only thing coming to my mind it's because i did not purchase any brushes yesterday from dollar tree simply because i just you know that was one of those areas where i was just like it's a no for me dog like i am not even about to try to play myself i know that those aren't really going to be the best would I recommend that to somebody in a rush? Absolutely, if that was your last resort. But for the time being, I'm really just going to use brushes that I know maybe are very low cost um, that I have in my collection, which Shop Miss A. I have some of their brushes, which y'all know. Um, I like Shop Miss A. So I have some of their brushes here, some of their like high def face brushes, which are really, really good and high quality. So shout out to them. But I'm going to use some of those that I have that was in my collection. I was like, let me just spruce these together really quick. I also have some elf brushes. Y'all know elf is very, very reasonable priced. So yeah. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. Yeah. So and I'm ready. Oh, and last thing, before I forget, I also had to pick up just, you know, some Shot Miss A powders that I already had in my collection because that was the one thing I would say is not my fault. They absolutely did not have any powder that fit my skin tone at the at my Dollar Tree. So, um, yeah, I'm just going, we just going <laughs> to pivot and use these. Did not find a primer, but... But I will say they did have this matte finishing spray, y'all, that y'all saw that I picked up. So what I'm actually going to do, y'all, real quick, this can kind of serve as a primer for me. Mm, okay. I'm trying to go in. So this will do the job. Mm. For now, let's just start out with, a, this, that's a little less than a dime size because what I already peep is that this product is kind of thick. I'm just gonna apply this all over the face. I'm interested. Definitely looking forward to seeing how the color turns out with this. So, mm -hmm. all right. So to blend this out, I'm taking the Shop Miss A um, High Def Brush. This is their F4 High Def Brush. A sort of a round top, um, very dense brush, very useful for blending out foundation and other face products. So this is perfect. So I'm just going to go in and
because it's more of like a I would describe this more of like a liquid type of foundation I don't want to apply too too much so y'all can kind of already tell what I meant by the color like it's not like a color that I would choose from as a contour shade um but we'll definitely like I said we'll definitely blend it out and see what it looks like and can from pretty much decide from there that's what this this whole entire experience is about right so let's make it do what it do but I'm gonna buff this out now taking the f3 brush by shot miss a their high def brush line um it has like that little same kind of round top shape but also a little angle to it so this is what i'm going to use and i'm actually going to take the more flatter in um to buff this in so let's just go ahead And I'm doing my best to be very light-handed with this and blending upward. That this isn't too much of a contour shade for me. Um, more or less maybe a bronzer, but even with that, it's not too, too pigmented. So let's just say this one was probably just a fail on the contour side of things, but it definitely might be a runner up to a foundation shade for me i don't know what y'all think next let's move on to the um under eye concealer so i'm gonna apply the ardell photo face concealer and this is said to be a full coverage highly pigmented concealer So I'm going to go ahead and use this to do my brow outline. So let's see. All right. It does help that I have my eyebrows um, shaped well. But y'all, if you can kind of see what I'm seeing, it's not too, too dark. Like it's kind of light and that's okay. We can find use for it, but I will say it's not as dark as I would normally pull for my brow pencil to be. Um, but it also can be pretty positive as well where it's not like you know it's just allowing me to fill in my brows and them not look like they've been drawn on if you know what I mean so I'm just going to continue to outline my brow shape first and then lightly go in the middle just lightly but y'all, that is pretty much what I'm left with after filling in my brows. So now I'm just gonna take my spoolie and I'm going to just blend that product into my brows. And being honest, lately, I, well, I will say <laughs> within the past week or so, I've actually just been filling in my brows because they are shaped up nicely um, and not like having to carve them out. That hasn't been super necessary for me. So that's what I'm going to go with today as well. And now I am going to go in using another Shot Mist A. Um, brush to blend out the concealer so this is their f19 brush definitely reminds me of like a saw like a dupe for the elf concealer brush i really like the shape of this but it is a little bit more fluffy but this is what i'm going to use and i'm just gonna blend out my sealer
Okay, so I do like that it did not dry down like too, too much. Um, it's giving like matte vibes, like soft matte vibes, which is good. And again, this concealer is pretty like pigmented, so that's good. The coverage is nice. Can y'all already tell which of these products are my fave so far? <laughs> I'm sure y'all can. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of blend that out like this. Just going to blend that out as best as I can using my finger. Stay under my eye, I'm going in with that banana shade first from the Shop Miss A loose powders. And I'm just going to lightly dust over my under eye area. I will say this powder is definitely bringing a lot more color back to my skin. Just saying. So the eyeshadow that I did get has like the little, you know, brown shade in it. I almost want to use it to just see what it does if I use it as like a contour. And I got to be careful with it. And I'm doing, I'm taking that little angled fluffy brush by Shop Miss Hay. I have not used it yet. And I'm just going to lightly do it. Okay. All right. So bronzer okay it definitely did something brought some you know color back to the skin so I'm definitely going to give it its props blush I applied okay she's cute Um, and then on top of it, just going over with my highlight. And this is the Oini Chloe highlight. I'm excited to try the Kim eyeliner. But y'all know that's coming. So stay tuned. Okay, and I'm just going to dust this. Ooh, I do like that. So I'm going to take that brown shade out of the palette. And I'm actually going to just buff this right into the crease. Okay, so I'm not going to do nothing too crazy. Maybe I should see what it looks like if I try to apply it with my finger. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm just going to, I'm going to try to create a wing. Yeah, let's do that. And now I'm just going to go in and apply the mascara that I picked up. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. And I got it in very black. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> Miss Oini. She's definitely cute. <laughs> Berry, okay? That's all I need to say.
All right, y'all, so I came in different lighting so y'all can see close up what it's looking like. Let me go in the camera. But yeah, we definitely got a full face for Dollar Tree, y'all. Wow. <laughs> this definitely inspired me to just let y'all know that you don't have to spend buku money just to get a nice full face. I mean, we definitely had some hiccups here and there, but I do think that overall, this was super fun, worth it, and I'm glad y'all stayed along with me for the ride. <laughs> y'all some real nice. But thank y'all again for watching. I hope that y'all totally enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, y'all. And as always, I love y'all. Lord willing, I will see y'all in the next one.